So you have been watching a lot of videos about Thermomix or maybe you know a lot of people who have one and love it or perhaps you went to a demo and you cannot get it out of your head but you're still wondering if a Thermomix is worth the money. Justifying a purchase can be a lot of work and a lot of research. I know I was there once. So let's talk about the elephant in the room, the price. Okay, if a Thermomix was cheap, 95% of the people I know will have one. Every time I do a demo, people leave amazed. It might be for them and their lifestyle or not, but they do say it's amazing. But no, it's not cheap. It's a luxury item. Thermomix knows it and they protect their price in every single country. Like Apple, they never lower their price and they never give yep. discounts. If anything, they might have a bundle with a nice gift here and there, but the price doesn't go down, which at the time of this video is $1,499 plus tax and everything goes up so eventually the Thermomix will do too rightfully so so do I think it's expensive absolutely not now stay with me let's review 10 concepts and if none of those work for you then for you it's expensive and that's fine it's not for everyone but before we continue I'll let you in on a little secret the first time I saw a Thermomix was at a friend's house she was making a margarita and she was telling me how much she loved it and no she's not a consultant just a happy customer I was listening but when she told me the price I said, this is a $1,500 blender? Are you crazy? I kept listening just to be polite, but I didn't think it was for me. When I told my husband about it, he was the one doing the research. He watched a ton of videos and he was the one telling me this was a good idea. Ooh, I'm glad this is recorded. Honey, you were right. How often do you hear me say that? Anyway, let's go back to my story. I didn't want to hear it. I was worried it was going to be sitting on our countertop, not being used, and I was going to be blamed for it. So I asked him to drop the subject for a week or two because I I needed to think. Of course, you can imagine this story ended well or else I wouldn't be here. Once I knew about the value of the Thermomix, my opinion changed completely and my reaction was, this was an option? Why didn't I know about it? And I said what most people say after buying a Thermomix, I wish I had had one much sooner. Today we're not going to talk about the value and how it cooks. I have many other videos that talk about that. This one will be focused on the price versus savings and convenience. Let's do it. Concept number one, your lifestyle. If you don't cook because you're not good at it, not interested, or too busy to do it, then you are eating out a lot and you're eating pre-made food. Trust me, I know how it goes. That was me. Remember, I call myself the dummy cook because I cannot cook for my life. And I'm also a business owner, so I was always too busy to even care. For someone like that, the savings are obvious. For example, one day I was talking to someone at a trade show. He told me he could not afford a Thermomix because he had some bills to pay. We were talking about the financing option, which was going to be around 140 per month for a year. But with all his payments, he he was not going to be able to afford it. We almost finished the conversation there, but he started talking about his girlfriend, how none of them cook, how they eat out all the time. So I asked how much one of those dates was, and he said, well, we're trying to be careful, so between 90 and $120. At that moment, I realized the Thermomix was not an expense for him, but a savings device. We did some math together, and he realized that by just cutting out two of those dates, he will be already saving money, and much more if they stayed home a few more times. Maybe once a week? I'm not even asking people not to go out at all. Now true, if you do cook, this first point is not for you, right? You already know how to save and be healthy by making everything from scratch and that's great. Let's keep going. Number two, all for one and one for all. Have you done the math of all the items as substitutes? If you had to buy a mixer, a bread maker, rice maker, a steamer, a slow cooker, a food processor, a high powered blender, etc., you will be paying more than $1,500. So it's not too much money. If anything, is too much value. Now, I understand many of us have a kitchen full of appliances already. Well, if those items are in a drawer, they are not helping you at all. It's a cost of opportunity, right? Because you have something you don't use, you don't buy something much better. You could be having fun cooking restaurant quality meals every day, eating healthier and more varied if those items were not in the middle, right? Hmm, do I hear eBay calling? But you might be very happy with your appliances and that's great. Then this point might not be so strong for you. I will still argue that declaring your kitchen and having just one tool is a plus, but at the very least, you have to agree with me that it's the perfect appliance for a new couple, new family, new house or vacation house, right? Uh, for an RV, a boat or for a college kid who's going into their first apartment style dorm. I have a video about that actually. Watch it whenever you have time. In my case, I even bring it to my RV when we are on vacation. That way I don't depend on the tools they have available and I save a ton of money not eating out every single time. I even have friends who take it to a hotel. No wonder they call it the smallest 
cleanest and smartest kitchen in the world. Number three, financing. So let's say you won't be saving that much because you eat at home a lot, but you will still love to have a Thermomix because it's a second set of hands, because it brings so many fun recipes you wouldn't even try by yourself, or because it substitutes so many items in your kitchen. I mean, chefs know how to cook and they still have Thermomixes in their restaurants yep. all around the world. So if this is the case, then look at the financing option. When you pay between $135 and $150 based on credit, right? Per month for one year, and then you're done paying for an appliance that will last you many years to come, you know you have made a great investment in your quality of life. You'll be the one saying, why didn't I buy one earlier? Yep. Four, perception. How do we decide what items are expensive and which ones are not? We are buying $1,000 phones every two to four years. People pay a lot of money for their hobbies, whichever they are, trips, photo equipment, sport equipment, live entertainment, etc. Actually, please let me know what you have spent more than $1,000 on here in the comments, please. It will help me with a future video. So it's all based on value perception. If you love the item, if you think you'll use it a lot, if it gives you status, whatever your value is, that's your reason to buy something expensive and be super happy about it, right? Five, long lasting. We were talking about expensive phones and electronics that we throw away every two to four years, right? A Thermomix is a German engineer device with 52 years of history that comes with a two year warranty that you can extend if you want and will last you many, many years. My friends in Spain still use the one that they bought more than 20 years ago. Now granted, those older models don't have a screen, but still that tells you how amazing the brand is, right? Also, don't forget, since this model gets Wi-Fi updates, it gets better and better without having to change the hardware. How many appliances do you have in your kitchen that improve themselves year after year? Six, no waste. Thermomix introduced a pretty cool concept in my house, the no waste concept. Not only I'm cooking everything from scratch and it's healthier, but also thanks to the recipe platform with more than 90,000 guided recipes, I can open the fridge, see something I have too much of, make a search in my app and find hundreds of recipes that will use that item to cook. So I'm saving money because I'm using up everything I have at home. Also on the no waste subject, a Thermomix requires roughly 500 watts for cold preparations and just 1000 when using heat. That's why it's perfect for RVs and boats. Seven, buy only what you need. When you go to the supermarket, you know you should not be hungry, right? Or else you'll buy three times more of what you need. But even when we took that precaution and went shopping after lunch, we still tend to buy more than we need. We fantasize and we add things to our shopping cart thinking we will be very healthy this week. We'll stay home and cook and have the perfect family meal. But then life happens and things start getting bad in our fridge. With the Cook I Do app, you don't have this issue. You can choose your recipes you'll cook this week. It gives you a list of ingredients needed for those recipes sorted by aisles in the supermarket. You can check off everything you already have at home and you can either go in person or click a button to have it delivered. Last year, a friend was helping me get ready for a fancy dinner for eight people. We went shopping together and she was amazed at how little I spent compared to what she usually will spend on a dinner for eight, just because I bought only what was needed. Now, if you're already a savvy shopper, then this reason is not for you and that's fine. Eight, cook from scratch. We keep saying that you can make everything from scratch, but what is that really? Okay, let's make some example. When you make peanut butter, you are using just peanuts and a little bit of peanut oil. That's it. In 30 seconds, you have made peanut butter from scratch. I have a video about this. Actually, watch it whenever you can. When you buy peanut butter in a jar, you don't know what's in it. It contains preservatives and other chemicals. I actually remember a peanut butter recall a few years ago. So I'm not saying you have to become Laura Ingalls and churn your butter. Actually, you wouldn't. The Thermomix would make the butter for you. But I'm saying that if you wanted to give it a try, you can make your own bread, your own yogurt or mayonnaise. And if you don't want to do that, that's okay. Making things from scratch also means cooking your own protein and veggies instead of buying a pre-made meal. It means making baby food instead of buying those horrible baby food jars or making your own amazing frozen margarita. That's another video I have. Take a look. Instead of going out and paying $15 per glass. If you do the math, cooking from scratch is way cheaper and Thermomix has managed to make it super fun. Nine, health. How much are you paying for your gym membership or gym equipment? Or how much do you wish you were doing about that? Are you always trying to be on a diet and failing? Do you have any medical conditions that require you to eat better, but you can never find the system to do it? Do you have food allergies and knowing what's in your food is imperative? With a Thermomix, anyone, and I mean anyone, can cook amazing meals. Yes, you need to make good choices because you can make delicious fish and veggie healthy meals, but you can also make cakes. So you need to 
behave. Yep. But the meal planning, the search filter to avoid ingredients you cannot have, the folders to save the recipes you want to try, all of that helps a lot. I was always eating out, and when I bought my Thermomix, I lost 12 pounds in the first three months, not even trying to be good, just for the fact that I was eating everything made from scratch. Now, if you're already super healthy, if you're fit, and or if you already eat from scratch, then this point is not for you. 10. Time. Time is money. I took my kids to a more expensive high school because it's five minutes away from my house and the alternative was 20 minutes from my house in the opposite direction from my work. We need to choose where we put our time and money, right? If you are retired and you enjoy working on your meals for an hour or two, that's awesome. I know it's therapy for many people, but for others, time is of the essence. I know a lady who got a Thermomix when she was having her fourth child and she says that it was life-changing. Before, if a baby needed her right away, she had to turn off the stove and take care of the issue, delaying lunch. Now she says she can leave the Thermomix cooking while she's changing that diaper or dealing with whatever problem and she knows they'll have lunch on time. Another friend was telling me about her RV camping trips. Before, she spent the time cooking for the family. Now she gets to play with everyone while the Thermomix is finishing the meal. These are just a couple of examples. I have many more, but you get the idea. If you're retired and you have a lot of time, that's awesome. I still see how a Thermomix will be fun and helpful, but time wouldn't be your selling point. If you're super busy, then a Thermomix will totally make a difference. But remember, you still need to give it a chance. The app helps you buy the ingredients and the Thermomix will do a lot of processes for you. But you still need to turn it on, decide the recipe and have the ingredients in the house. You can lead a horse to water, but you cannot make them drink. So as a recap, for people that are busy, don't cook and need to be healthier, Thermomix is a no-brainer and in most cases, a savings, not an expense. For people who cook, have time and don't need extra health benefits, the Thermomix will still be a fun addition to their repertoire, but it could be considered a luxury item. Instead of using it as an essential item, they will be using it to supplement their cooking. Maybe they will prepare the main dish and the Thermomix will prepare the dessert or the bread or the drinks. Now, as a tool, it will always make sense. Whether you cook or not, if you want to crush ice, you need a tool. If you want to turn almonds into almond flour, you need a tool. That's why chefs have it. That's it. I hope this video will help you decide. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and remember, if you're going to buy a Thermomix, always do it through a consultant's link. You'll get free shipping and they'll be there for you if or when you have questions. If your consultant sent you this video, please give them a call right now. Or if you don't have a consultant, I'm here for you. Please email me or use my purchase link. It's in the comments. But connect with me anyway, so I can be there for you. Thank you so much.